What's up guys, it's Josh from Kipiteki and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys VN stat. Now as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys VN stat. This is a command line utility that allows you to monitor network traffic on your Linux operating system. And one of the things that it does is it provides network statistics, you know, for various time periods. It has a database in the back end that tracks your statistics and displays it in the command line using the commands. Now, one cool thing about VNStat, you know, it uses the network interfaces, you know, statistics provided by the kernel. And this information is typically pulled from the proct and system uh, file systems. And it keeps logs of hourly and daily and monthly network traffic for that specific interface and then displays it once you run those different commands. Now, I want to go through and show you guys how to install it. And what I'll install it on is Ubuntu 20.04, the desktop edition, and walk through some basic usage of the VN stack command. So let's go on and get started with that. Okay, cool. So as I say that, I want to show you guys the VN stack command, and this is Ubuntu 20.04. It's a fresh install, and what I want to do is go on and install it right fast by using the command line, and we could just type sudo apt update. And anytime you install something, you want to make sure you update and refresh the repositories. This package is included within the official Ubuntu repository. And you always want to make sure there are no updates as well as you refresh those repositories. And as you can see, this system states that all packages are up to date. So we can go down and install. So let's type sudo apps install. And then the package name is VN stat. And let's go down and press enter and it'll go through and install that package for us. And the reason it didn't ask me for my password because you know it's a timeout when running commands. Once you authenticate with your sudo account one time, which we did when we ran the update command, it'll hold that kind of like in memory or it's like a timeout of like five minutes before I ask you for your password again. But anyway, VN stat basically has a daemon and a client. And there is also a configuration file. And I'll show you guys all those files right fast just to give you a little more information about the actual application. First off, let me show you the configuration file. So we can type uh, cat and then etc. And then it should be vn stats. And all I want to do is cat out the file so you guys can see it. But this is this is where you can change the output style. You can change the units. Uh, you can ch uh, change the data formats, you know, and a few other options in here. You can make it look a little different and I'll scroll up a little bit so you guys can see, but here's some of the configurations that you could change. I'm not going to go through them. I just kind of wanted to show them to you guys. And if you ever need to update anything, I'm going to just LS this directory, but the database is actually stored under VOR, uh, lib, and then I think it's VN stat and press enter. And you'll see that's the database right there. So if you ever need to troubleshoot it, that's the database for your network statistics. That's where everything is actually stored. And then also the install location. I'll show you guys that as well, but I'll just go LS. Uh, and it's installed under user bin uh, VN stat. I believe VN stat should be in there. I'm gonna hit uh, no. But VN, I'm going to tab it out. Yeah, but that's the location where it's actually installed. So uh, let's back out of here and let's go down and clear the screen. Now let's go down and show you guys how to actually use it right fast. And let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can actually see it a little bit better. Uh, let's go in one more time. That way you guys can actually see the full screen. Okay, and the first thing I want to do is go to the man page. They do have a man page for VN stat. So once you have it installed, you can go to the man page. This will give you information on how to use the actual command. And as you can see, here's the name and here's the description right here. And then here's the synopsis. So with all the different options you can use, you know, with this command. But Basically, what it says is a console based network traffic monitor. Uh, and let me read a little bit of the description so you guys can, 
you know, get a little bit understanding or a little bit more understanding of what it is. Uh, but VNSTAT is a console based network traffic monitor. It keeps a log of five minute intervals, hourly, daily, monthly, and yearly network traffic for the selected interface. However, it isn't a packet sniffer. So just so you guys know, you can't do packet sniffing with this. Um, now it says the traffic information is read from the proc and system or sys file system depending on availability resulting in light use of system resources regardless of network traffic rates the way vn stack can be used even within without root permission on most systems so super cool you ain't got to run sudo to actually use this actual command now here are some of the, the options you have add you know create database entries uh, begin and i won't go through them all i just kind of wanted to show you a few of them but i'm gonna go through and show you the ones I've actually used uh, in the past when playing around with this command. So let's go down and quit the man page and give you guys a couple of options. And the base way to actually run VN stat is just by running it without any options. So VN stat, press enter, and there we go. So this gives you all the network information that you that most people want to see. So as you can see, this is the interface uh, name. As you can see, this thing just started. So it's a very small database at the moment because I just installed it. But right here, uh, RX is the received, uh, TX is the transmission. So RX, when it says received, that means basically download. So if you look at it this way, that's that's basically what it means. It means you're this is what you're downloading at. And then also the transmission is you know basically sending things out so just to break that down so you guys can understand it and then this is a full total right here and like i said it stated it's not gonna have much uh it basically pulls in a monthly and then a daily right now and that's all it's gonna pull because like i said we just started the daemon just running just started running and so it only has a limited amount of information it can provide to you. As you can see, these numbers are basically the same because it started this month. You know what I'm saying? And this is the daily rate, which is, you know, the same figures because it doesn't have much information right there. And then it shows you an average rate right there. So super cool that it has that information. All right, now, so let's break this down a little more. Uh, as you can see, it if you had like more than one interface, you know, it would list both of those interfaces. But let's say you, you, you have multiple interfaces or network cords and you want to specify a specific cord. So I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, it's basically the dash I option. And let's hold on to clear. Well, no, I'm gonna leave it up. But basically all you have to do is type VN stat and then dash I, and then let's specify the interface. We know what the interface name is, and that's ENS18, so ENS18, and press enter, and it'll basically pull the same information we just looked at, because we only have one interface. But if you had like multiple interfaces on this system, like I stated, it will, you know, narrow it down to the specific interface that you want to look at by specifying it. So using that I option is beneficial for looking at specific interfaces. Now let's say you wanna break this thing out uh, and as you can see daily, you know, monthly, and right now we don't have hourly, but you can specify by hourly, which we don't have because this thing hasn't been up for an hour yet. So let's run it again, run that command again, but dash H will actually pull the hourly and it might not show anything. Yeah, it actually shows it. Okay, so as you can see, 2021, you know, eight, six, uh, 11. So that's the hourly rate, you know, based on the information that is gathered so far. And of course that'll change, you know, over time. And then also, you know, we specify the interface, which is that the interface right there. So now you do the same thing for the daily, which, you know, it's shown right here. We don't even have to specify it, but let's say you don't want to see the monthly, you want to see the daily. Uh, so if we run it like that, run that same command and then put the D option, that's basically for daily. And that'll show the daily rate. And pretty much the same thing for a monthly, you know what I'm saying? I, I and you guys get the picture, it's pretty simple. Uh, so monthly is M, lowercase M. So that's the monthly rate. 
Now there's another option I wanted to show you guys. Let me go down to clear right fast. But we don't have much data that actually show this, but this option actually shows the top 10 traffic days. So basically the top 10 traffic days based on what they have in the database. So let's run uh, VNstat. And then basically all you have to do is run the option T. And like I said, it's the top 10. And it's showing only one because today, you know, it's the only day that it has. So it's not going to have much information. If I was to run this a couple of days from now, it'll give us, you know, as much data as it has. And this thing is constantly running in the background and it's not affecting your system. It's just basically grabbing that information and logging it. And then you can query it based on whatever you're trying to see. And then lastly, what I wanted to show you guys was the L option. So if we run VNstat uh, L, this basically monitors the traffic in real time. So if we press enter, uh, you'll see it'll start monitoring it in real time. So this will give us information on the system, you know, the receive, transmission, you know, all that information in real time. So it's super cool. And the way you stop it is you, you just basically hit control C and that'll stop the monitoring of that interface but i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is a super cool command like i said i was just kind of playing around with different commands and i found this command i thought it would be interesting to actually show you guys uh this thing is super cool it'll give you a lot of information you know basic information about your system and as you can see after i stopped it it kind of uh tracked or gave you some more traffic statistics once i stopped it but like i stated this thing is super cool you know what i'm saying i want you guys to actually check this out for yourself you know it'll give you some ways to monitor your traffic on your network at least for the specific system that you're on so please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and of course keep it techy